This, my friends, is Base44, and it was built by a solo founder in just six months, and it now just sold for $80 million cash. So in this video, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. So we're gonna jump into this tool and build an app from start to finish. Let me be the judge of this tool. But first of all, what is it? Well, as I mentioned, it's an AI coding platform focused on non-technical people, and it allows them to build websites, web apps, and apps by using simple prompts. Okay, Christian, that sounds pretty standard. That's pretty much what a lot of these AI app builders do. So how is this different? Well, the approach they took is quite interesting because they're actually an all-in-one builder, which means that unlike other tools, you don't have to connect several tools to get a project finished. Christian, what are you talking about? Yes, you're right. I should probably be on their website right now. Let's go. Okay, so when we come to the website, let's make your dream a reality right now. Okay, so here's where you would actually put in your first prompt to kick off the app that you're trying to build. Let's see what else we see. Here they talk about all the built-in components, pages, flows, and features. Okay. This is really cool. It's that the back end is built in automatically. So that's what we mean when we talk about an all-in-one tool. You wouldn't have to connect a separate database, for example, to be able to make your app work. And so these are things like authentication, letting people sign in, sign out, et cetera, saving data, so database connecting, and kind of workflows that happen behind the scene to have functionalities that are more powerful work as well. So this is a really cool value proposition here. And so here they have built-in hosting. So it really seems like a tool very geared towards non-technical people, have some success stories. And we see that there is a free tier and also 20 bucks a month to get started, excellent. Now for this video, instead of coming up with an idea from scratch, I'm actually gonna build something that I need today. You see, over the past couple of weeks, I've been building a new free course to give to you. It teaches founders the eight steps to building their startup from scratch, leveraging AI without any technical skills at all. So I was gonna pay for a learning management tool where I could host it, but instead what I've decided to do is to build a platform, basically kind of like a teachable, but to host this course specifically. And so I thought, hey, this is just a great thing that I could build for me. And if all goes well in the build, you'll be able to click on it down here and get access to this free course. But how am I actually gonna plan before I even start building this app? Well, my process usually starts in ChatGPT. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Let's go. And so my first step is usually to prompt AI to create a prompt for AI. You see where I'm going with this. AI is better at creating prompts than I am. So let's say this. You're an expert app builder with experience building apps in base44.com. Please create a starter prompt to build a members area with a course experience similar to Teachable for my free course. And here's the key. Ask me all the questions you need about the project to create a clear PRD product requirement document, including design, specs, and more. Go ahead. And what this is gonna do is that it's actually just gonna ask me a couple of questions if it's done right. And so let's see what it's brought up. Okay, so it's created basically the main goals of the project, excellent. Then it's creating the functional requirements here, which are perfect. Design and branding, questions for you. What is your style? Okay, perfect. Here are answers to your questions. Okay, so I answered a bunch of questions and let's just go ahead and send that and let's see what it comes out with. Now I wanna take a moment to thank the Base44 team because when I contacted them about this video, they basically said they would sponsor it, which is awesome. So thanks for that. And you'll be able to find the link and the discount code that you can apply and get 10 free credits to build your first app. And now I'm gonna grab this and I'm just basically gonna grab the prompt alone and I'm going to put it inside here and then I'm even going to grab some of the additional information that it basically used right here. Copy that, put it at the bottom of my prompt and then I'm just gonna let it cook my friends. So let's see where it brings us. Excellent, okay, so this is basically the building interface. As we see here, it is already starting to plan out this entire build, creating We Are No Code course platform. Excellent. Editing user entity, very cool. So I like the look and feel of this as well. I like that it's um, also in a light version here. We see here that we can also, there's like a chat mode over here. Let's see what this is. You could just upload uh, files, exactly, perfect. And this must be to actually, let's see. Oh, okay, there's a number of different controls down here. App visibility, AI model. So you can change the AI model, that's really cool. Uh, Sonnet 4 is probably what it's already on. And then user security, 
Very cool. Awesome. So let's just let it cook here. And in just a moment, we should have a first version of the app and we're going to take it from there. But overall here, I see that it um, looks quite similar to some of the other app builders. And now what's really going to be interesting is to see how it does this all in one experience, because I think that's one of the differentiators that I see in this platform. Very cool. So here I see that, welcome back. I've done zero lessons, quick actions, continue, my certificate, which I don't have yet, or a uh, view profile. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the shadows, too much shadows behind this, but uh, I can easily adapt that. And then let's see. Oh, nice, look at this. It's created a uh, left nav, lessons, very cool, certificate. So here's where I can grab my certificate if I have one. An admin panel. So this is for admin users. Very cool with user management. Okay, so listen, the designs look pretty cool. Um, and I think it's done a good job understanding what it is I'm trying to do. Let's go ahead and click on one of these. Okay, so it doesn't seem like these work yet. We're gonna have to set them up and come back to the dashboard. In progress, very cool. And then view profile. Okay, basic profile information. And it seems like now what I'm going to want to do is to really uh, come back here and um, go to the dashboard and start adapting things that I want to change. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is probably just getting the lessons to work, right? So normally if I click on one of these lessons, it should actually bring me to the lesson. Okay, so I would now like for you to create a page for each lesson. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on this. See what happens. Look at that. Load video. Excellent. And now I can have all the information underneath here. This works really well. <laughs> I'm quite surprised how well this works. Uh, start lessons. Actually, brings you to the first one. And um, here, if I go to start lesson, and then I put mark is complete. Let's come back. Okay, pretty cool. This works. And now it shows this is complete as well. Okay, now we're talking. So let's see what we want to do next. Uh, we probably want to actually load the videos. I would also want for it to, once I click on complete, for it me, to bring me automatically to the next lesson. Okay, it says that now it actually works. If you complete the final lesson, you also go and it takes you to certificate page. That's really cool. Let me go ahead and test that out. Boom, lesson three, look at that. Lesson four, lesson five, lesson six. Very cool. Let me just do the last one. And then normally, lesson eight, boom. Certificate of completion. Look, you now have the certificate. It could be more beautiful, not gonna lie, but I could probably adapt that as well. We are no code fundamentals, love it. My friends, if you're looking to build an app business, but you don't have any experience, you might want to consider joining us for our AI coding bootcamp. It's a 30 day bootcamp where we're going to build your app with you. And we're going to teach you how to get paying customers for it. You'd be working within a group of other founders and have your own one on one coach to do so. And it's by far the quickest way for you to learn exactly how to build not just one app, but any startup idea and take advantage of any opportunity as they come up. Because that's right, when you acquire the skills once, you can reuse those skills regardless of the opportunity you're trying to tackle. So if you're trying to learn how to become an entrepreneur of the future, then please feel free to apply below. And if you're a good fit, we'd be happy to have you in the program. Now, of course, seats are limited, so make sure to apply now. Let's get back to the video. Awesome, so now if we come back here, we're gonna see there might be a couple of changes we wanna do before that. One of them will be the logo. The other one will probably be the design. Let's start with the design. Okay, could you please reduce the shadow behind all these cards throughout the entire app by 70%? Let's see if that understands what I'm talking about. Because as you can see, it's pretty like hardcore, the difference here. And I want this shadow to be a little bit more subtle. Okay, now we're talking. This looks a lot smoother. Now let's see, dashboard, lessons. So now it's the title here is actually lessons. So I don't think that I'm gonna add my logo here, to be honest. I feel like the only place that my logo needs to be is in all the other places, right? So my next thing to try out would be actually to go here on the top right and log out and see what this looks like. We are no code academy. Okay, very cool. So I probably wanna change that, right? And so I'm gonna say, okay, could you please replace the logos in this project with my actual logo? Here's the link. I'm actually gonna grab the link from wearenocode.com. 
So here, if you don't know how to do that, you can right click on anything and then you can go ahead and copy image address. The other thing you could do is actually just go in and dump your logo inside of this chat by uploading it here. I'm just gonna do this and hopefully it will know uh, and bring my logo and make it fit in all of these different uh, spots. Okay, so it's kind of reshaped it as well a little bit. It's not ideal. Let me see if I log out. Okay, it hasn't replaced it here. Okay, it seems like the logo has been resized. Please keep the same dimensions, but shrink it by 50%. Hopefully that will work. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, a lot better. Okay, so we have the design, we have credentials, we have it working functionally pretty well, but what we don't have is the actual video lessons. Um, so let's actually go in here into Workspace. And this is actually really cool. The way that they've worked on this is that they actually have all of it already inside of this. So it's like the data, this is the database. So you can add uh, lessons and uh, progress as well, it seems. Analytics as well, you can get analytics about your students. The domain, this is where you would actually uh, bio domain. And so everything that you're managing on the back end is inside here. APIs, if we're trying to add more complex functionalities and so on and so forth. Now I have this in dark mode and it seems like it's not working that well in dark mode, but I could uh, possibly change it back. Ultimately, this is really cool because it gives you one central place and it makes it a lot easier for people to control who are really non-technical. So this is interesting. Let's keep going. Now, when I go into data here, I notice that there is lesson progress certificates, but there's not actually lesson. So this is maybe a good opportunity to use discuss, right? Okay, in the data videos. Where should I do that? Question mark. Let's see what it comes up with. So this is a great place to actually communicate with the app and to have it really understand what you're doing. So let's see what it's saying. Excellent. So it's saying upload your videos to YouTube. If you haven't already, upload your course videos to YouTube. Excellent. I've done that already. Get the YouTube video ID. For each video, copy the unique ID. This is the first string of characters after the V equals. Excellent. And update the lesson data JS file. Okay, I don't see this actual file here. Okay, I don't see the lesson data file. Okay, cool, so that actually worked this time. Now we have lesson here, so we can go ahead and add. But the first thing I might do is just actually delete all. There you go. And here we're gonna just start adding the lessons one by one. So here, the title of lesson, it would be um, introduction. Okay, so that'd probably be the video ID. Um, so I'd have to go on YouTube now. And here I got a couple of videos. So let me go ahead and grab this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and share the link. Excellent. This should, now let's see if that really worked. Preview, introduction, load. Excellent, look at that. Look at me here in my own platform doing it. Okay, and then I could do a visual edit here maybe. Okay, it seems like this is dynamically generated, meaning that it's gonna be in our database, right? So that's where we're gonna to have to change that. Let's go ahead in lessons here. We're gonna see what's up here. Video ID, introduction, excellent. Uh, lesson number one. Okay, so that actually works. Now I'm gonna add additional ones. So here it would be lesson number two. Uh, the title would be lesson two then we're gonna add the video ID. So I'm gonna come back in my YouTube channel, um, have lesson one right here. We're gonna copy this. And we're pretty much gonna do this for all of the additional videos here. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna do here is I actually want to have over here this, like by default, I want it to show the thumbnail. So let's just grab visual editor. Just click on here. Could you please? So I see the YouTube thumbnail. Okay, and there we go. Now all I gotta do is test it out a little bit, right? So now let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard, continue learning here. Excellent, brings me here. I mark complete, resolve with AI. Seems like we hit an error here, so. Let's go ahead and check out what happens. Great, it's fixing itself. This is really cool. Okay, now we come back here. 
this works mark as complete. Let's see, excellent, and it brings me to the next one. And then I could watch this one. Look at that. Customer discovery and development. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Now I just have to touch up a couple of last things and then I think I'm automatically just gonna publish it. I'm gonna teach you how to do that in just a second here. Okay, so I've adapted a little bit the lessons here so that here when you come down into lessons, you can actually see a little more information about each one of these. Could also choose to have a thumbnail in here. I've chosen not to for this version, but now we're ready to publish. And the crazy thing is that here on the top right, you can literally just click on publish, publish here, and it's gonna give us a shareable link that we're gonna be able to see separately. It's gonna ask us here to log in. As you can see, I probably wanna update this, continue with login, I'm gonna log in here and it's gonna be bring me into my experience. Now, because I've already created an account here, I'm ultimately going to close this. I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna create one with a different account. I'm gonna create one with my outbound uh, email address. And now I can actually see the experience from scratch for someone who would be in here for the first time. So as you can see here, I can check out the lessons and also check out the certificate but I can't see anything else. So it's actually kind of perfect, right? If I come back to the dashboard, I have a quick learning experience here. It's gonna bring up the first lesson. I can actually play this lesson now. Let's see yours truly. Perfect, so let's say that I'd finished that. Mark as complete. Boom, brings me to the next lesson. Mark as complete. Brings me to the third lesson. Mark is complete. It's gonna bring me to the fourth. And then normally I should be done. Oh no, sorry, there's another one. <laughs> Cause there's an intro one, right? So now I have a certificate that's been given to me. Congratulations, Christian has successfully completed this and I can now download this. So I love that. I think it's really cool. Here's my certificate as well. I can download it right here. And if I open it up here, Boom, certificate of completion. We are no code. This is super cool. And of course I could completely fine tune this, but this app, as you see, I've built completely from scratch, my friends. And uh, I've been able to even finish the course. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> and now if I come back here inside the base, I'm gonna be able to check out the worst workspace users. We have two users. So I can basically start giving people access to this platform and have them log in. In fact, if you wanna do that right now, you're gonna be able to find the link right below. You're gonna actually have access to this free course. There's only the first four out of eight lessons, but I'll be updating and adding the lessons as they come. Okay, so let's talk about my analysis of Base44. First of all, I think that it impressed me. That's just my frank feedback here. I think that they did a really good job in making it easy, especially all in one. I feel like there's a lot of benefits in having access to all of your data, analytics, all of the stuff, all within one platform. I was quite happy with the way that it actually dealt with issues. So I feel like that's something that it's done well. Um, places to improve. At first, it seems like one of the data points that I was trying to access was not accessible, so it actually didn't build the database right from the get-go, but as soon as I kind of prompted it to uh, improve that and to actually add that data point, which were the actual lessons, I found that that was really awesome. There's also lots of stuff I haven't fully discovered yet, so I'd love to continue to play around and I'll be able to kind of resort back. But basically, I think that this really targets a non-technical audience, and I think that's awesome because obviously most people don't know how to code. And um, so yeah, first impressions, really good. Pricing is also competitive in the space, so I think that's good. And um, yeah, it's just such an exciting time because there are more and more of these tools coming out and they're just getting more and more powerful, more and more valuable for non-technical people. And so, um, you know, the big question starts becoming uh, getting customers for these platforms. And I'm gonna be covering a lot more of that in other videos. But one big thing you have to know today is that building a product is one thing. Getting people to use it only happens if you have a killer landing page. If you wanna learn how to build one of those, then check out this video because I built a landing page that generated $80,000 in three weeks. And I want you to learn on how to build killer landing pages to get customers for your apps. If you like this video, subscribe and drop a little comment below if you'd like to chat. My friends, it's the best time to build. Let's go!